வெல்கம் டு செல்லமா டீச்சர் யூடியூப் சேனல் கிளாஸ் ஃபைவ் மேத்ஸ் லெசன் நம்பர் எயிட் மோர் அபவுட் டெசிமல்ஸ் ஒர்க் ஷீட் வித் எக்ஸ்பிளனேஷன்ஸ் லெசன் நம்பர் ஒன் எயிட்டி ஹண்ட்ரட்ஸ் இஸ் ஈக்வல் டு எயிட் டேஷ் ஹியோ எயிட்டி ஹண்ட்ரட்ஸ் இஸ் ஈக்வல் டு ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் எயிட் ஜீரோ விச் கேன் பி ரிட்டர்ன் அஸ் ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் எயிட் விச் இஸ் ஈக்வல் டு எயிட் பை டென் தட் மீன்ஸ் எயிட் டென்ஸ் ஸோ த ஆன்சர் இஸ் எயிட் ஹண்ட்ரட்ஸ் இஸ் ஈக்வல் டு எயிட் டென்ஸ் லெட் சி த நெக்ஸ்ட் கொஷன் தி நம்பர் ஆஃப் டிசிமல் பிளேசஸ் இன் தி ப்ராடக்ட் ஈக்வல்ஸ் தி சம் ஆஃப் தி நம்பர் ஆஃப் டிசிமல் பிளேசஸ் இன் தி டேஷ் லெட் சி ஒன் எக்ஸாம் ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் டூ இஸ் மல்டிப்ளைட் பை ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் ஃபோர் ஈக்வல் டு டூ இன்டு ஃபோர் இஸ் ஈக்வல் டு எயிட் வி ஹாவ் டு பிளேஸ் த டிசிமல் ஸோ ஹியர் த ஆன்சர் இஸ் ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் ஜீரோ எயிட் ஹியர் இஃப் வி கன்சிடர் த டெசிமல் பிளேசஸ் டூ விச் இஸ் ஈக்வல் டு த சம் ஆஃப் த டெசிமல் பிளேசஸ் இன் த நம்பர்ஸ் தி ஃபைனல் ஆன்சர் இஸ் the number of decimal places in the product equals the sum of the number of decimal places in the factors the numbers involved for the multiplication question number 3 when multiplying by dash moves the decimal point two places to the right multiplying by 100 moves the decimal point two places to the right yes so the final answer is when multiplying by dash moves the decimal point two places to the right is 100 question number 4 when dividing by 1000 the decimal point moves to the dash by the three decimal places dividing by 1000 the decimal point moves three places to the left so the final answer is when dividing by 1000 the decimal point moves to the left by the three decimal places question number 5 4.4 into 0 into 1 is equal to dash according to the properties of multiplication any number or numbers multiplied by 0 the product also 0 so the product of 4.4 into 0 into 1 is equal to 0 question number 6 99.2 into 1 is equal to dash according to the properties of multiplication any number or numbers multiplied by 1 the product is the number itself so 99.2 into 1 is equal to 99.2 question 7 64.63 into dash is equal to 1.8 into dash here according to the properties of multiplication by changing the order of the factors will not change the product so 64.63 into 1.8 is equal to 1.8 into 64.63 question number 8 50.06 into dash is equal to 500.6 in the answer decimal moved one place to the right that means the number 50.06 0.6 is multiplied by 10 that is 50.06 into 10 is equal to 500.6 here the decimal is moved one place towards right so the final answer is 50.06 is multiplied by 10 to get the given answer question number 9 dash into 100 is equal to 7.56 which number is to be multiplied with 100 to get 7.56 here the decimal might be two places before before multiplied by 100 isn't it so the answer must be 0.0756 so the decimal might be two places before from the current place so the final answer is 0.0756 Question number 10 0.8 into 8 is equal to dash Let's solve this problem step by step Step 1 multiply as in whole numbers 
ignoring the decimal. So 8 into 8 is equal to 64. Step 2. Count the total number of decimal places in both numbers that is the factors. Step 3. Starting from the right, count the same number of decimal places in the product and place the decimal point there. So 0 0.8 into 8 is equal to 64. In this we have to place the decimal point. In multiplication, count the number of decimals or decimal numbers in the factors and move the decimal point from right of the product. So here one decimal point. One place we have to move. So the answer is 0 0.8 into 8 is equal to 6.4. Question 11, 5.6 divided by 1 is equal to dash. According to division properties, when any number is divided by 1, the answer is that number itself. So, here the answer is 5.6 is divided by 1. The answer is 5.6. Correct. Question 12, 23.55 divided by 5 is equal to dash. Let's see how to solve this problem step by step. Step 1. Place the decimal point in the quotient directly above the decimal point. Step 2. Divide as if you are dividing whole numbers. Let's see how to solve this given problem. Here the dividend is 23.55. Divisor is 5. Here we have to place the decimal point in the quotient first. That is step 1. Now, 23. Let's consider. Let's recall the fifth table. 5, 4s are 20. So, 4, 5s are 20 which is to be subtracted from 23. Now, the remainder is 3. Here, next is, next number 5 is to be written down. 5. Now, it is 35. Recall again the fifth table. So, 5, 7s are 35. So, 35 is to be subtracted from 35. 0 is the reminder. Next, we have to bring down the next number 5. Now, it is 5 here. Recall again the fifth table. 5 ones are 5, which is to be subtracted from 5. The reminder is 0 here. So, the final answer is 23.55 is divided by 5 is equal to 4.71. Question 13. If 0 0.8 multiplied by 13 is equal to 10.4, then 8 into 1.3 is equal to dash. Step 1. Multiply as in whole numbers ignoring the decimal. Step 2. Count the total number of decimal places in both the numbers which involved in the multiplication. That is the factors. Step 3. Starting from the right, count the same number of decimal places in the product and place the decimal point there. According to the given problem, here 8 into 13 is 104. We have to place the decimal now. Let us count how many decimal places are there in the factors only 1. So in the product we have to place the decimal point. From the right we have to count one place. So 8 into 1.3 is equal to 10.4. So one place should be moved from right. So the final answer is 10.4. Question 14. A labor gets daily wages rupees 80.05. Find the wages of 18 workers. Let's see the steps. Daily wages of one labor is equal to rupees 80.05. Number of workers 18. 
the wages of 18 workers is 80.05 is to be multiplied by 18 so when we are doing usual multiplication we are getting some number here we have to place the decimal point as we have two places in one number we have to place the decimal point from right two places so the answer is 1440.90 so the wages of 18 workers is rupees 1440 Point nine zero. Question number fifteen. The consumption of petrol of a car is twenty-seven point nine liters in five days. How many liters of petrol is consumed per day? Let's solve this problem step by step. The first statement is petrol consumption of a car in five days in liters is equal to twenty-seven point Nine number of days is equal to five. Petrol consumption of a car in one day in liters is equal to dash here for five days. The total petrol need is given. The question, the requirement is for one day. That means we have to do division. So twenty seven point nine divided by five. That we have to calculate. How? Let twenty seven point nine be the dividend, five be the divisor. As per the rule, the decimal point should be placed in the quotient, and as usual, division is to be done. So five five sir, twenty five is to be subtracted from twenty seven. The answer is two. Here nine is to be written near two, so nine here. Now twenty nine, so five five is a twenty five, which is to be subtracted from twenty nine. The remainder is four. Till we reach zero, we have to try the division process. So here let's add one zero, so forty. Now eight five is a forty, which is to be subtracted, so that the remainder is zero. So the final answer is petrol consumption of a car. In one day, in liters is 5.58 liters. Next part is match the following. Here four questions given. All these four questions are based on multiplication and division. Here, let's see the rules of multiplication and division. For matching, multiplying by hundred, the decimal point moves to two places to the right. From this problem. 6.06 into 100 is equal to 606 decimal point 00. Here the decimal point is moved two places towards right. Yes. Here dividing by 100 the decimal point moves two places to the left. Let's see the question. 6.06 is divided by 100 means The decimal point should be moved two places towards left. So one, two. So the answer is zero point zero six zero six. Dividing by ten, the decimal point moves one place to the left. According to the given problem, sixty point six divided by ten is equal to. 6.06 so the decimal point is moved one place towards left multiplying by 1000 the decimal point moves three places to the right according to the given problem 6.06 into 1000 is equal to that means the decimal point should be moved three places towards right 1 2 3 okay so the final answer is 6060 we have set of rules to do multiplication and division in decimals to remember the rule if there is easy step or easy way it will be very useful for us 
So here one easy and funny tip is given. Mr. Deepak Lal here Mr. Let's consider for multiplication M. Here move the decimal point towards right. The starting letters from multiplication and right that is M and R which denotes for the multiplication the decimal point should be moved towards right. For division move the decimal point towards left. So D and L. I hope you will understand this shortcut. To do this multiplication and division problems in decimals. Correct matching answers are displayed here.